I was playing with this circuit for a while trying to get the results that I had first gotten from it and before even recording my results playing with it a little bit suddenly out of nowhere it seemed like it just stopped working the same it was working so bad compared to how it was I was thinking a, a fit had to have gone bad or something which wasn't the case um, so anyway about 13 and a half volts we'll cut it on So I finally realized what it is, is what's giving me the longest breakouts is when I actually have arcing going on and I just noticed the longest breakouts at about 13 volts while observing this arcing. Alright, so I'm just going to cut the switch. We saw as soon as I flipped the switch that little, little arc that danced there. So I don't know what caused the breakout to get like five times longer as soon as uh, some of these windings started arcing. It's obviously not going to do it while I'm recording, um, but you know, now we're back at where pathetic output, it just doesn't want to, <laughs> there's nothing I can do to really get that going like it was. So now that's the only reliable way to have this feedback and run, which if I'd have known that, I never would have tried to put this together to begin with because that's nothing compared to what it was doing. And I had to cut that up to like 20 volts, which, you know, the whole goal was like 12 to 16 volts to get, you know, two to four inch arcs. And while I saw that at first, uh, like I say, apparently it was due to some very strange arcing going on this little midpoint here where my windings were slightly overlapping the best action i saw of it doing that was i saw a bunch of little tiny white arcs jumping across around this middle point around you know about at the same point and while i saw that i saw it must have been four inch arcs three at least three to four inch arcs coming out of here at 12 to 13 volts you know like i said as soon as i saw that i tried to record it but i when I cut it back on, it, it didn't do it. It didn't do it again. Um, I just saw one little fleeing white pop over here, and then that was it. Then after that, it just started working like crap again. So, like I say, I bet if I, I bet if I fiddle around with this thing for another like three to four days or some crap like that, uh, maybe at some point it might eventually start outputting like it was. But there's no point relying on that when at any moment in time it could just start running like crap again. So.
the same uh, 35 volt boost module, but it's just capped at about 26 volts physically, like that. 12 volt, uh, 18650 cell 3 in series. Had to splice this a couple times, of course, on the uh, ground here, which is on the negative of the boost module because uh, without that, sometimes it'll kick out, kick out the boost module. Actually, it might be the uh, protection board on these cells.